how do you do? All right, check it out. Your first question is describe a moment. Describe a moment when you're fucking scared. Come on, go ahead. Do it. Scared. Huh. Scared to fucking death. When I got in a car accident and I was worried that she didn't wake up because a stupid lady took the light and we ended up on the side of the fucking street inside a pole and shit. And I woke up with pain on my back. But my first reaction was, fuck, she's littler than I am. She's not as strong or as big. And she just hit the fucking wall. So my first reaction was, holy fuck, that was my scare. But she was okay, obviously. Okay, the next question is, what is your favorite movie growing up? Oh, fuck. Because he has a lot. He's like old. Shit, I'm not old. He's like an 80s baby, so he looks like... How's that being old? Like, I bet you what he's gonna say is gonna be like an 80s movie. Or well, like an 80s yeah. movie. It was the best. Because that's all he watches all the time. Because it's better. It's better content. I believe that. And a lot of people are gonna agree with me. <laughs> you know? And by the way, fuck you to my ex for depriving me for movies when I was with her. Fucking bitch. Aww. Depriving me for movies when I was with her. Okay. Back to um, movies. Um, I like horror movies. Uh, I love the classic like 1930s like horror movies. Oh. Like yeah. Oh, uh, you guys already know. So if I were to give you a movie, it would probably be Frankenstein. It's uh, the Mummy. Frankenstein. Uh, if I want to jump to the 80s and 90s, probably be like a Breakfast Club. One of my other favorites is uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. I fucking love it. I mean, I love that fucking movie. And I mean, who doesn't really, you know, want to live that yeah, whole day just kind of enjoy yourself and not go to fucking school? Hate school. Um, you forgot one. Which one? Oh, the fucking Goonies, <laughs> yes. which is my fucking favorite. Those are the movies I love. All right, if you had the power to fly, where the fuck would you fly to? I honestly fucking love San Francisco. You, you don't feel the same shit you feel in LA. You feel free, you feel like an entrepreneur, especially with us being business majors. And like, I don't know. Just the people there too. Oh, They're yeah. just like, friendly. very friendly, very empowering. Everyone's willing to help each other out. You can actually have one-on-one -on -one conversations with everyday people and it's a normal thing. A normal conversation yeah. instead of getting stared at. Listen, fucker, what is that one thing you fucking regret in life? Be honest. Come on, we know you have something. Oh, fuck. I regret a lot of fucking things. That's that's like the number one fucking question. Lots. The number one thing I regret. I wish my sister was never fucking born. How about that? <laughs> no, he doesn't I'm mean kidding. that. I'm kidding. He doesn't mean that. Making the worst decisions. You know, when you're not supposed to, and you still fucking do it. And you know people are telling you not to do it, and you know you fucking shouldn't, and you go, fuck it. And then you realize, holy shit, I shouldn't have done it. And then you realize you got that, that feeling yeah. in here, you go, fuck. I gotta run to the restroom, but it's not the restroom situation, it's more like a gut situation because you fucked up and you made a bad decision. I'm not telling my mom that I bought a fucking car and I signed her fucking name. She fucking threatened me. She would fucking cut my neck if like, um, I ended up fucking paying the car and owning the car and actually I ended up giving it back to her. It was an accurate in Saturday night. Nine. But my friends that are watching this, that know me know the car, they have memories with it. So that's, that's my story. Join us, keep liking us, keep subscribing.